welcome back to developers home and today we are discussing about spark etl and spark etl today we'll discuss about no sql database in that we'll be considering mongodb in earlier blog and video we discussed about spark etl with sql databases and there we did etl with postgres sql and mysql and now we'll do with no sql so basically uh, in this what we will do is we'll do this all are the operations will install require spark libraries create connection with mongodb from spark read data from mongodb transform data and then again write data into mongodb from spark so earlier you know that we have worked with this all other different data types and data sources and today we are adding mongodb so let's say if we're reading from mongodb if in case you want to write into postgres sql mysql you can also do that before using uh, mongodb and before starting that we need to check do we have those external mongodb packages are installed or not with our instance we don't have that so first we need to install that external nosql database package and if you learn how to install external packages you can go to this earlier blog where i discussed that how to identify that package from maven repo and how to install that from jupyter notebook or pyspark or if you if in case you are submitting job how to use that so first thing is what you can do is you can clone this github repo and put it on this folder chapter 2 and uh, then we start this so first step is I will uh, start my Spark session and uh, you want to understand what MongoDB packages we are using. You can go to this MongoDB uh, Spark connector on Maven repository and here you will see all the different versions are available. And now uh, today I am selecting version 3.0.1. And uh, after that what I will do is I will specify that with this Spark session I also need this jar package and uh, in earlier i have already executed that and that's why you know that i have this package is uh, downloaded uh, so this time it will not download package but for example if i execute this it is already started this uh, spark session and it says that uh, no need to download but it consider those four artifacts which is required for mongodb so we have now packages installed and we can use that but before that, uh, you know that we are using MongoDB for the first time and we want to read data from MongoDB. So what we can do is if you go to this GitHub page, I am also providing one CSV file. So first we create a collection into MongoDB. So if I go to MongoDB now, here you see that uh, on MongoDB, uh, this is Mongo Compass and you using Mongo Compass. I have connected local instance of MongoDB. And what I will do is I will create database with her data engineering and collection name which is like in SQL that is table in uh, MongoDB it's a collection so I will give name as a employee and uh, create database so now we have this database available here and if I go here on employee collection I don't have any data so I will import that data you can select CSV JSON whatever format you have and we have with this uh, chapter 2 on github this employee.csv file available i will select that and once that is selected i can check that okay i am having id first name last name salary and department id which is coming correctly and now if you want to case change this uh, data types you can also change this data type and after that i will click on import so it will import all the data into this collection so we have this all data available in this collection so now we have data in mongodb and our next step is create connection with mongodb and read data from mongodb and for that what we do is we use spark.read.format and uh, mongo which comes from this uh, mongodb library and after that in uri we'll provide connection string so you know that when you use this uh, mongo compass so normally you know that we use this one so here if you pass this local host and if you pass this username and password it will create this kind of uri so here we have mongodb then root is username this is password and this is connection string this is my local host 
and now if I execute and I will say that my database is a data engineering and that collection name is employee so if I execute this this is currently reading data from our uh, uh, MongoDB collection so once data is uh, loaded into our data frame next step is what we can do is we can execute this one so we'll understand that what kind of data we have so you know that if I go here inside this MongoDB instance and if I go into this collection I see that we have ID which is like by default ID when you create collection in MongoDB it will give this by default underscore ID then we have ID first name last name salary and department ID so which is correct I will also print a few data from that so we see that this is correct data which is coming from MongoDB and our next step is uh, like we create temporary table so that we can write spark sql so i am creating this temporary table so that we can write uh, spark sql temporary table is created and just uh, have a look on this temporary table so yeah temporary table is created so now what we do is you know for transformation and for understanding what we'll do is we get uh, employees who is having salary more than fifty thousand, and we just need a uh, first name and salary so i will just execute this one and now if i do count so this will uh, provide that there are 78 employees who is having salary more than fifty thousand. now our third thing and last thing is write data into mongodb from spark so we'll use data frame dot write and format we use mongo and all other things like what is a uri what is a database what is a collection that's all detail we pass and then we'll say mode append dot save so that will load data into mongodb so here you see i am passing collection name as an employee one but we don't have any like collection with name em with employee one so what it will do is it will create that collection and then load data if in case we already have collection it will just append data but we don't have that collection so it will create collection and then append data so you see this process is completed now see so if, if we go here and do a refresh and it should be getting this so what i can do is uh, i can do refresh here and now i see that we are having employee one is also available so earlier we had employee in which we had 95 documents and now if i go and read this one so we are having 78 documents which we loaded from spark so yeah this is how you know that we have done this all the etl operations with nosql database and in that we consider mongodb but if in case you want to do this operations with other databases like you know that uh, azure cosmos db amazon dynamo db or cassandra it will be a same way you just need to identify that maven library and you need to pass that package and after that you do same operations now you know that we have covered this all are the data sources so you can read data from any of the data source and write into any of the data source only thing is before starting spark session you have to specify that you want to use mongodb or you want to use postgres sql or you want to use both and that's how you know that you can do etl with each of the data sources yeah so i think uh, that's all today we learn about mongodb read and write in our next video, we'll learn new things. Until then, thanks and see you.